With Halloween just days away, kids' costumes are flying off the shelves. As a matter of fact, it is estimated that close to 100 60 million Americans will celebrate the holiday and spend nearly $7 billion total, with the average person spending around $74 each. But there is one particular costume getting some extra special attention this year, but not for the reason you might think. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? Elsa. Eight-year-old Lucy Castile has a lot in common with one of the girls featured in this Target Halloween ad. They're both going as Queen Elsa from Frozen, and they both have spina bifida. I think it kind of just like shows her like it's possible for her too. You know, like you don't see it often, and when she's out, um, everybody kind of stares at her. The retailer's decision to feature a child with disabilities in its holiday mailer is getting a lot of support from parents with children with disabilities, like Charmaine Cruz, whose son Nathan has Down syndrome. If we don't have images of people with special needs, then, you know, they don't get a chance to be seen, to be accepted. Um, and it just opens the door for acceptance everywhere for them. Gail Williamson is a talent agent for people with disabilities. She says more and more retailers are using clients like hers in their advertising. With children this year, I've put them in Target ads, on Target commercials, Nordstrom ads, uh, Toyota print ads and commercials and um, Nike, Nike had a kids commercial. But uh, in general, I'm, I'm always submitting to the ones who aren't asking. Lucy and Nathan's moms hold hope that more retailers include kids with disabilities in their ads because then their appearance won't make headlines, it'll be the norm. They're kids just like everybody else. She, my daughter can do anything that any other little girl can do. Now, as far as Target is concerned, it's not the first time they featured a child with disabilities in one of its ads. And it's not going to be the last. Target says it is committed to showcasing their diverse community. Good for them. Isn't that awesome? And you know, I think Elsa will continue to be a popular look again this year, even a glowing Elsa. Internet sensation Glowy Zoe is back and brighter than ever. You might recall Zoe becoming a viral hit when her dad made her an LED skeleton. He says so many people wanted to buy that costume that he started selling them online. And the demand is booming, so much so that he's looking forward to one upcoming day in particular. November 1st, I'm going to take a two-week nap, and then I'll start thinking about what's going on for the next time. <laughs> and after Dad wakes up, he may want to confer with Zoe, because this year she picked her own costume as well as her LED <laughs> trick-or-treat mobile. <laughs> okay, that is one cute costume right there. But if you're looking for something a little different, Three-year-old Willow Queen has just the look, or looks, that you're looking for. Say hello to Willow. The three-year-old loves to play in her market and go outside to run and swing. But in October, she and her mom, Gina Lee, a professional photographer, start a month of dress-up. She wants to be princesses all the time. So what she really wants to be is um, Elsa or Anna, you know, from Frozen. <laughs> We haven't seen any princesses yet, but Willow's poses include Siegfried and Roy, Wayne's World, even Doc from Back to the Future. But it all started with this one, a little hot dog on a stick when Willow was just a few months old. When the kids went back to school, it was just me and her, you know, so I just take pictures of her anyway and I go, let's get dressed up. Willow has since become an internet sensation with more than 70,000 followers in a partnership with Netflix. Red from Orange is the New Black is a fan favorite, as is the Richard Simmons picture. After all, you're never too young to appreciate a good fitness routine. But for Willow and her family, that's her dad in the Burt's Bees beard, it's all about having a good time. As long as she's having fun and as long as she's happy, then, you know, then that's where we do it. With less than a week left in Dress Up Willow Month, Gina says they have some big dress up plans already shot and ready to post. Of course, you can always look forward to December with this little elf on a shelf, sure to cause some mischief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are all so wonderful. Yeah, I don't know which one I like the most. <laughs> I got to go with Richard Simmons. Yeah. I yeah. like Richard. I like Richard a lot. <laughs> well, no matter who you dress up as, one thing's for sure, you don't want your little one's costume to put him in danger. Up next on Delmarva Life, we're talking costume safety. We'll get some do's and don'ts when it comes to dressing up. Did you know there are certain hours on Halloween that are more dangerous than others? We're going to break down the when and the why and find out what you can do to make sure everyone stays safe. And believe it or not, nowadays you also need to protect any packages you have delivered to your home. That's because 
porch pirates are on the lookout. We'll hear more about this alarming trend, find out why it's happening a lot right now, and learn what can be done to prevent it. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.